If you have ever wondered what Zoho Vault is, that's what we're going to talk about today. Zoho Vault, I will admit, it took me, I would say, over a year after I started using Zoho, or a year after I realized Zoho Vault existed to actually explore it and start using it because it just seemed like something else that I probably didn't need. But little did I know, it is extremely important for keeping all passwords safe, for keeping everything streamlined so that your team members can log in without actually having to type in the password. Um, it will do it for them. So Zoho Vault is what we're talking about today. I am going to pause a second to type this in because this password is long. But upon logging in, you do have to set a master password, which you have to enter every single time you log into the vault. And then there's also a um, an extension that you can add that will have the vault here and accessible so that when you log on to different sites, you can easily and quickly save the password just like you would with Google. Now I am using the new version. This is in beta and there's an old version that I could toggle back over to, but I really like the new one. I like the new interface. It's it's a little bit more um, user friendly, I think. So upon going in, you've got your menu here to the left. Your dashboard when you first log on shows you how many passwords you have, how many folders, and so on. And then you can also see how many of the passwords you own, how many are shared by you, and then how many are not shared, and then also those that are shared with you. Then you've got the personal passwords as well. This is showing you the different actions, passwords added here, passwords modified, so on. And here we've got some validity, um, you know, if it's expiring and then frequently accessed passwords will be here and tags. Haven't used this much in the demo, but you get the idea. This is the same thing, but from a team perspective. So it's looking at the entire team. This is really cool because it shows you how many passwords are weak? How many are reused? And so it really helps you to keep everything secure, which is very, very nice. Passwords are all here. You can look, you can see all of them listed all at once, or you can look at them by the folder. So in the management folder, I have an IT folder. And in that IT folder, I have this password. Operations, has this one, sales, has none, all right? Um, now, just to give you an idea, I would like to add a new password. Quick add password, and we're gonna add a password for Bluehost that we would want others to be able to access without them actually knowing the password. So we're gonna add it in, and the system knows the most commonly used URLs that an entire team would need to be able to access. So you may already see the links there or you could just add it in yourself. All right, we're gonna save it and I am going to share it with a group. Nope, I am going to share it with a person. We're gonna share it with Rob one click only. So one click only is what we want. We don't want him to actually view the password or be able to modify or manage the password. So one click only is what gives them the ability to just click on it and then it logs in automatically. So you can see your favorites, anything that's shared by you, shared with you, anything that's in the trash. Folders. You can go here to manage the folders, move things around, see what's shared, who it's shared with. All right, you can see who it's shared with, what type of permission they have. And then you have apps. You have the ability to add apps. You can go here, you can add a supported app, and you've got choices. Any of those can be added straight into Zoho Vault. You can also make changes to 
the details here. You can upload a certificate here. And you can create a custom app. The audit trail is serious. It shows you everything. It shows you which password was accessed, what action was taken, and who was performed by. It gives you the IP address, everything. Okay. It even shows that I viewed the password audit. Isn't that nice? All right. So then the report section will give you a dashboard for each of these. So you've got the user access, you've got password access, see which passwords were accessed, all right, folders. This is the assessment of the passwords. Security score lets you know how secure that password is. Anything that's weak. Everything shared with users, groups, third parties, so on. And then in the settings, there are lots of settings here. So the only thing we're going to go through is personalization, just so you can know that you can have the system time out. The vault will automatically time out after five, 10 minutes, and so on. And then you can require a password for the audits and reports and then enforce that inactivity timeout for all users. All right, so again, Zoho Vault is very useful for keeping passwords safe throughout the organization. There are lots of other tools. I used to use a different tool, but once I realized what Vault was, we um, switched over to Vault. So that's what my team used to make sure that we have all of our clients' passwords secure and where they can just do one click to log in. If you have questions about Zoho Vault or any other Zoho tools, just drop it in the comments. You can also contact me, my team at SuccessfulSolutions.com. You can send an email through the website. You can chat with us through the website. We look forward to hearing from you. We can help you streamline anything and everything Zoho.